you don't mind to join us over here, we want to explain quickly about how they got water on the side. So we kind of add in one more thing, and then the synagogue is here, and the bridging point is there, and the cable car. Hang on. Every single drop of water that fell down on the Sada was collected into those cisterns. So there are cisterns all over the flat top mountain. But that was not enough. We have an average no more than two and a half inches of rain over here. It's a desert, the Judean desert, very dry desert. So how they got so much water for all their needs? So you probably can already guess the techniques that they used, okay? Because you already visited Kumeran. This technique was first used, as far as we know, by the Hasmonean kings on the second century BC. The rain does not fall here. The rain falls up there on the Jerusalem mountains, okay? And on average, between one to five times every year, there are flash floods that goes down from the, Judea, from the Jerusalem mountains down this valley. Can you see it? So what they did, and I'm waiting for the to move. All right, I think they are. So is semi-hard limestone, but the side of Masada, it's easy, easy to chisel chalk rock. Remember Mount of Olives? <coughs> it's the chalk rock, very easy to chisel. So what Herod the Great did, or what his workers did for him, is to cut huge pockets into the side of the cliffs. Each one of the holes that you see over here, and each one of the holes you see over here, actually represents a huge cistern, like a big pocket, to be made into the cliff. And they covered it with hydraulic plaster. You take the plaster and you mix it with ash, so you may mix a gray color plaster, which is waterproof, or what, waterproof, hydraulic plaster, and they made huge pockets right over here. Now, let's one of us be the flood. Let's flood it all. Want to be the flood? Oh, oh. oh. oh that's not good. There's no water coming. Come on. There's like little, little, little water coming. I'm not. Oh, gosh. Come on. See, that what happened after two years, no tourist. Okay, let's do this. There's a little bit flood over here. So you flood it just here. And that's the flood coming. It's wonderful. So usually there is more water than in this cup, uh, but maybe put a little bit more. But what I wanted you to see, most of the water goes down. It's impossible to stop the flood, okay? Just possible to divert a small amount of it into those two aqueducts. So those aqueducts takes the water and the water fills each one of those cisterns. How clever is that? Mm -hmm. Okay, got it? Yeah. Now what's the problem? How you yeah, get them here. up? How you get it up? That's why you have <coughs> slaves, <laughs> mules, donkeys, okay? So here there is a trail that starts from the bottom and it ends roughly where is the cable car station, oh. okay? And the same gate that we came in. 
and the second trail starts from here and zigzag all the way up and ends exactly where you are right now okay so this is where you stand it's the water gate and if you look on the other side you will see the holes you will see where the system is oh. That's, that's how they got so much water. They had the swimming pool, the bathhouse, irrigation canals, water fountains, everything you want. Just imagine the effort to bring all those waters up here. Can I